Good morning. It is 7.20 a.m. on Wednesday, October 7th, 2020. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I've been, uh, you know, moving slow this morning. Didn't just get up, but you know, I'm getting getting there. I'm, I'm almost up. Uh, today in particular, this is five more minutes. Uh, today in particular, um, Rocket got me up a little bit before the alarm went off. And so after taking him outside, I kind of got back in bed. And then he just sort of cuddled right up next to me. And it just made a very comfy position that uh, I didn't feel like vacating immediately once the alarm did actually go off. He's a very sweet little boy. Um, so last night we had the the last episode of So Many Levels Campaign One. You know, I I think we're gonna you know we're gonna keep playing I and uh, move on to new things. But uh, this was a campaign that we started uh, with episode one on October thirteenth. 2016 yeah which seems like forever ago and um, it's uh, you know this this crazy long journey where you know we, we, we got closer we told incredible stories we took these characters from level 1 to level 20 and and beyond and last night we had an epilogue where they had they had fought the big fight and now what remained was kind of picking up some of the pieces, figuring out what happens next, resolving some of those dangling plot threads, enjoying the spoils of their victory, and it was just lovely. I was a little anxious about it because I it wasn't just a regular episode where like there there were definitely throughout the campaign there are episodes where it's easy because I have already planned what's happening next and it's just a matter of continuing to follow that that plan and there were episodes where I didn't necessarily have any kind of a plan but the stakes were low and so I could just let the characters kind of explore wherever they felt like it but um, you know this this episode was like okay well all of the real story is done and it's just a matter of where everybody kind of comes in for a landing and so I I had asked everybody the, all the players to sort of give some thought to what they would like to see in the epilogue and see the sneaky trick there was that it wasn't so much so that I could uh, you know plan to have things happen the way they described so much as by having them put some thought into it ahead of time they're not on the spot to improvise uh, everything that needed to happen in the same way and uh, so it just uh, gave everyone the opportunity to think about what they wanted and then in the episode last night we just kind of we said like okay so let's say what that is and it just I, I was worried about it just because I wasn't sure exactly how it would go down and, and it just felt important to have this this good ending and it really, I it went very well. And I think that it doesn't still completely feel real to me. Like, you know, there, I, I, I feel not like, so I'm emotional about it, but some of that emotion does still feel just like backed up a little bit. And in the sense that like, I haven't, I haven't let go of, of it enough to feel its uh, departure yet. You know what I mean? Like, in the moment, like, there were some really emotional moments last night. Things that I think, you know, if I were just passively watching a movie or something, I certainly would have uh, 
you know, cried or uh, just had other, you know, emotional responses and all that. And, and it's not that I didn't at all have those responses watching last night, but there was still just a little bit of it, of me having to sort of stay in control to sort of guide everything and, and, and provide leadership to complete the epilogue. And it was important that I do that. And so I did. And now it's done. And so I think it's going to take a little while for me to be able to like release the grip I had on it. And I think, I think once I do, that's, that's where it'll really hit me, but we'll see. So in the meantime, still got to go to work. So I'll talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes.